Hey folks, what's up Brody? Oh, I'm so glad to see you're getting sleep. So glad to see that you are taking care of yourself, my friend. So, um, we are back here with some Emerald. We are e continuing to EV train the squad here for our Battle Frontier journey. And right now, we have Arrow, the Bagon. He has grown to level 25. And this is our move set as it stands currently. We are going to uh, try to get him and our friend Harry Jr., the Starmie, some speed EVs today. That'll be kind of our main thing. And if you were with us last time, we spent a lot of time in Mount Pyre uh, bullying some Shuppets to get our friend Stevie the Matang some attack EVs. So that was awesome. Um, all right. So now, as you can see, I am here in Marvel City. And we're actually going to pop over here to Route 118 because once we get across the water to the grass over here, this is actually going to be a great spot to um, farm some speed EVs. And I'm actually going to start here with this Wingle because Wingle also yields them. But if we are... Uh, getting hit with supersonics, that's not going to be what we want. So I think I am just going to run. Never mind, I can't escape. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so like I said, here on Route 18, um, you are very likely to find Pokemon that yield speed EVs because we can find Electrike, Zigzagoon, Linoon, and Mainectric will each give two, which is great. So we are going to try our luck here and get some speed EVs for Bagon and Starmie. Here's a line noon right off the bat, baby. Let's do it. All right, I'm actually gonna switch this one um, because if you have been with us, you know that if a Pokemon gains experience at all from the fight, they will get the EVs from the defeated Pokemon. So our Bagon does not have to deliver the finishing blow on the Linoon to get the EVs. Our friend Blaine can do that for us, and Bagon will still get those EVs. Um, so that's going to take us to... That's actually four, so that'll take us up to 50. So yeah, this will really be... This will really be the speed episode. Um, and, uh... Yeah, I'm really excited. Very nice. Okay, because this will... This will actually give us some opportunity to... Um, do things maybe a little bit more quickly just because the Linoons and Manectrics are going to be able to, like I said, give us four EVs instead of just two per battle. Um, we do kind of have to swap out to Altaria a lot here, but with any luck, Bagon will just keep getting stronger and we'll be able to knock out some of those Pokemon on his own. Um, let's see, this is most quiet. No, that's where I usually have it. Uh, all right, here we just have a regular old Zigzagoon. I'm gonna see if our friend Bagon can handle this. Um, off screen, I did a little bit of training, um, EV training on Arrow. I, um, just did more attack EV stuff in Mount Pyre. And since I figured that's a place you all have seen already, seen all those Shuppets, you didn't need more more of that kind of content. Um, but, uh, yeah, my plan here is... Oh, and these Wingles are also going to give those speed EVs, so we are just cooking with gas. Um, once we get to Starmie, that's going to be the... That's going to be the thing. We'll be able to move real quickly with Starmie. Um, because Bagon's still a little bit weak, doesn't really have the moves... Um, to deal with stuff quite as well. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. Because now we can outspeed. Great. That is the thing about the Macho Brace that just kills me. Those speed drops that you get. Um, Alright. Electrike, lovely. Um, so, really my plan here is today we're going to get, we're going to keep uh, doing our EV training. Um, I might not have too many more episodes of doing this, um, just because I wanted to kind of show off some of the different spots 
that were good for farming specific stats like um, Mount Pyre there is great for getting attack EVs with all those shuppets that you will encounter 100% of the time. Um, this place is obviously really great for the speed because pretty much everything that you run into is going to give you a speed EV and the ash route there um, east of Fall Arbor Town is going to give you those special attack EVs with all the spindas and slugmas. Um, but there are other places too. Like, uh, we went to the Desert Underpass that had the HP-giving Pokemon. Um, I think the Magma Hideout was a great spot for defense, because you find a lot of, like, Torkoals and Gravelers and stuff there. Um, and today, I really want to, um, highlight Bagon, because, um, at level 30, Bagon's going to evolve. And I would like us to see that this episode, if we can, if we can swing it. Unless we get a paralysis here. Yeah, we'll just swap out. Here's Ziggy for you, Brody. Ziggy can get the kill on this one. Be a super potion. Ah! Called it! And I am going to use that absolutely immediately. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. So, um, how's everybody doing today? Um, it is Saturday for me here. Um, nice line in. Uh, my wife and I have had a really nice time so far today. We went out and had some fun breakfast. We went and ran a few errands. We went for a walk, um, which was really nice. She made some coffee, um, and I had a few sips of hers um, before I hopped on here. Um, we actually have a party tonight, a surprise party, um, for a friend of mine. And, uh, they'll never watch this, <laughs> so it won't ruin the surprise. And, um, so that's really exciting. I am kind of bummed because I do have to start back at school on Monday. I have to go back to my job, which I know, I know, grown man complains about having a job. But, you know, I liked not having one for a while. It was fun. Um... Oh, you made a Google slide. Ooh, I'm curious. Um, headbutt. It says I need access. Um, let's see. Don't static me. Don't do it. Okay, great. Right, I don't have that many dragon hands left. I will love you forever, Electric. If all you do is howl, we're gonna we'll get along just fine. Okay, that is lovely for Arrow. Always wanting those precious levels. I'm actually going to see something because I don't know if Bagon can learn this yet, but it could be pretty useful. Because I know Bagon learns Ember. I don't know if he can learn Flamethrower, though. Ah, he can! Uh, this is going to be on our Salamence, so let's go ahead and teach uh, Arrow Flamethrower. This is fun. Um, we'll get rid of Bite. Lovely. Perfect. One step closer to our final move set. I don't think he can learn Aerial Ace yet. Doesn't quite have wings, unfortunately. Um, all right, let's check this out. Da, da. It still says it doesn't work. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Unfortunately. Ba, do, 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 do. And there's that paralysis I was not looking for. I would love if this, like, one shot. Oh, wow, it still doesn't do that much. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. It's okay. 
does about the same as Dragon Breath. There we go. Perfection. Um, do I have something to heal that? Oh, I have lava cookies. Great. I might want to pick up some supers here. All right. There we are. Dragon Breath is great because I can get that paralysis on it with any luck. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'll check out this one, dude. Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> Ziggy is a Pokemon from Silver Cave Gaming's Emerald Playthrough. She is a not-so-known Pokemon in the playthrough, but she is loved more than his mascot. And Ziggy is a mom of her two kids, Zaggy and Goonie, and her husband is a Waylord named Biggie. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, that is great. Anyone else, do yourself a favor and click on that. That is hilarious. Thank you, Brody. Thank you for that wonderful presentation. Um, let's see. And I can confirm, I clicked on it and it's not, uh, you know, Brody's not hacking you. That was funny, dude. Um, let's see. Right, what does a flamethrower do to a zigzagoon? Uh, unfortunately, a Bagon just is not that strong. Okay, love to see that. All right, so next time our HP gets a little low, we're going to go ahead and stop over at the Pokemon Center. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. Um, Pin Missile is not, like, a very wet, like, a, not a very known move by a lot of Pokemon, but I like that Zigzagoon learns it. It's a really nice thing because it's, it's all spiny. It's got, like, spikes on it. Um... What's up, Zesty Alpaca? You did catch a stream. Thank you for being with us today. I appreciate it a lot. Um, we're just doing some EV training here on our Battle Frontier squad. Um, our Bagon should evolve today. Um, that's what I'm hoping, anyway. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, really... We've done a lot of attack training on Bagon. We've done a lot of attack training on our Matang. And we've done a lot of special attack training on our Starmie. Um, today, we are really just farming speed. Um, and this is um, probably the best spot in the game to do it here on Route 118. Because every Pokemon that you can encounter, that you will encounter, is going to give you those. Um, but, uh, how's it going, Zesty? Having a good weekend so far? There we go. I remember, hold on, after this fight, I'll show a little something. Um, let's just do you. Oh, I hate the sand attacks. They drive me crazy. Um, ah, you spend all your morning and afternoon running errands. I definitely get that. Um, my wife and I were doing some errands as well today. Um, but we had some fun stuff in between, and now we, now we chillin'. Now we chillin'. But I'm glad to hear you're chillin' as well. Oh my gosh, missing! Come on. There we go. We're almost out of power points this round. I would love to get into some more Linoons and stuff. Speak of the devil. Asking you shall receive. Now, I'm going to see if this thing is going to completely kill us. Hopefully it just uses Odor Sleuth. Um, mm, love to paralyze you. Don't kill me. It did not. That's great. Okay. 
we gonna swap out. Usually, anytime someone comes into the, uh, someone new stops by the stream, Zesty, I ask what Pokemon game they started with. Because it seems likely you're a Pokemon fan, I would gather. Because that's most of what I've played on the channel so far is Pokemon stuff. There we go. Sapphire was your first. So if Sapphire was your first, my guess is you are 27, 28. That's just my guess. Da, da, da. 21, nice! Um, very cool. Um, I am 31, so I am 10 years older than you. Math, baby! Um, ah, you leased off your eldest sister. That makes a lot of sense. Um, ah, your first game was Platinum, then Heart Gold. That's a great... That is a great start, those three. Um... My first was yellow, and then, but I never beat it at first. Um, the game that really got me into it was, I knew that was going to happen. Um, the game that really got me into it was silver. Silver was my big one. Um, let's see, let's just heal you. It's all my lava cookies, but that's okay. Another super, that's lovely. Okay, so here's something that I've done before, is apparently this is a cool way to get Latias or Latios to show up. You can go in this grass and use a Repel and have your lead Pokemon be above level like 27, but below level 40. And if you just pop into this secret base and then pop out, it will kind of like reset where they are. So that is how I have found a Latias or Latios before. And who knows, maybe we'll do it at some point. Uh, let's see, let's keep going with Bagon because we gotta get this bad boy evolved. Ne needs a few more stats, does our friend Bagon, I would say. We're getting those speedy bees we want. Um, oh. <laughs> Ran around with a team full of Wobbuffet so they couldn't escape. I love that. I love that. Um, yeah, those abilities would have come in handy back in my day of gold, silver, and crystal for the uh, legendary beasts. Um, we just had to use Mean Look like some sort of peasant. All right. There we go. I love a paralysis. Thank you. Reward my bad luck I was having. Right, that gets us to 90. Um, doing all this training has really eaten into my super potion uh, stash. But lucky's, luckily Ziggy's finding some stuff that we can sell. We've got a mainetric here. Love to see it. Um... I'm just going to go ahead and swap, because I don't even want to mess around with that. This will give us four, which I love. And we'll grow us a level. And I know this isn't very effective, but all Blaine's got right now is flying moves, and it should still one-shot. I would imagine I am 40 levels higher. At least I would hope. Okay, good. Mm, 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 mm. Annoying. Do you have a favorite Pokemon game, Zesty? There we go. Because my favorite's Silver and Crystal. I love the remakes too, Soul Silver and Heart Gold, but the or the originals are where my heart is. Do 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 do. It is interesting how Dragon Breath and Flamethrower are essentially just the same attack. They're both just a fire breath. Oh, growing up, your favorite was Remoraid. Um, 
That is so funny, because I totally meant your favorite game, but in the way I asked it, it definitely sounded like I meant your favorite Pokemon. Um, I love Dunsparce, yes! Dunsparce fam, uh, stand up, baby, let's do it. I love Dunsparce. Um, but, uh, my favorite's always been Lugia. Any game between three and five, I, I feel that, I feel that. Um... All of my favorites are those first four third versions. Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, um, and Legends Arceus. Love Legends Arceus so much. Okay, that one is 98. Um, oh, Pokemon Conquest. I have not played it, but I do know about it. Um, that is That is what I've heard. I've heard it's great. That's for the DS, right? Um, let's see. That gets arrow to 100 on its speed, which we like to see. All right. So, really my plan here for the gang, for those of you that haven't heard me say it before... Um, is that I want to get 200 EVs a piece on kind of like the main stats for each of my Pokemon. So for Starmie, I'm doing special attack and speed. For Bagon, I'm doing attack and speed. For Beldum, I'm doing attack and HP. Um, and after that, I'm just going to train them like normal and they'll just get EVs on whatever. Um, because, you know, I like to have some... I like to have Pokemon that are a little, little more well-rounded. Um, great. Um, one cool thing about Starmie is I have done the Battle Frontier before where um, I've used Latios. So that's actually why I did that little trick with the secret base that I was talking about. Um... And Starmie can do pretty much all of the moves that a Latios is going to do for you. Because um, my set on Latios was literally Psychic, Thunderbolt, Surf, and... Uh, what's Starmie's last move? Ice Beam. And that's what Starmie's going to use as well. So they're basically the same move set, and they have a lot of like the same stat distribution and types, um, but Starmie is just much easier to find and obtain. Uh, I was afraid that was going to happen. Um, Starmie does have that juicy special attack. You are so correct, Zesty. You are so correct. Starmie is kind of like the knockoff Latios, um, but in a way that's still great. I love, I love Starmie. Iconic Pokemon, too. Iconic Misty. Misty Pokemon. Let me heal that there. Paralysis on Blaine. That's going to annoy me. Let's see. Um, we'll just do that. I would love if you hit. Just hit. I feel like we're getting bad accuracy luck with Headbutt. My goodness gracious. Use Odor Sleuth. Or Mudsport. That also works. Um, come on, baby. There we go. Oops. Not a thousand and ten. I wish. Alright, so we are only about two levels off from <laughs> Bacon. Hey, Brody. Agreed. Bacon is great. Let's see. It is cool that the squad is pretty much getting there. Um, really excited for Bagon to evolve. I'm actually just going to... Oops. Oh yeah, I'll buy. Just a handful of you. Sell. 
Just that X attack we picked up. Perfection. Uh, Zesty, did you did you ever play Emerald? Did you find that you enjoyed uh, Sapphire or Emerald more or less? Um, Brody, thanks for being here today. I appreciate it. Silver Cave Gaming by Brody. What does it say? I also stream Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> That's a hilarious but picture of me. Oh. <laughs> His mascot is Zigzagoon, but he thinks it's Livia. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Good one, dude. Alright, have a good day, bud. Um, you played Emerald later in life. Battle... Dude, that's what we're here to do. Battle Frontier is peak. I never did the Battle Frontier in any other games. Um... Like, I probably won't, because we're going to play through Platinum at some point, I probably won't play the Battle Frontier there. I just specifically love the Battle Frontier in Emerald. Um, oh, wow, you got gold in the Battle Pyramid. That's impressive. Um, yeah, we are... <laughs> really, my goal is just to get all silvers. Um, just because getting all golds... I would, we would be playing this game for the rest of our lives if I tried to get all golds. Um, but uh, all, all silvers is way more doable, I think. Um, I have done that before. I got all silvers with a team of Latios, Blaziken, and Absol. Um, I actually, I just, I wanted to use something a little less obvious than the team we're using here. Um, and I just thought that would be really fun. Um, let's just do this. Really make sure we get the kill. Alright, that's gonna take us to 116. And plus this music, you can't beat this music. Oh, first shiny, that's great. Um, I don't know if I actually know what my first shiny is, um, but the one that I think of, because famously in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, the red Gyarados is just sitting there, but that's a static encounter, anybody can get that. My first true shiny was just a Rattata in uh, Silver. I got it right outside of Azalea Town, I always remember. So I kind of credit that as my first shiny. How about you? There we go, 28. Two more levels and Arrow will evolve. We'll see that this episode. I'm gonna make sure we see it, honestly. Da, 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 da. The Zigzagoon's always using their Silly little sand attacks is what is complicating matters. I would love to get to a point where I started to outspeed some of them. Um, it was great when I was training Matang in Mount Pyre. Um, there we go. Because I have Shadow Ball on my Matang and I was getting to the point where uh, I was finally outspeeding the Shuppets. So things got re real accelerated there. Oh! Let's see. Um, yours was a line noon right past four tree. Ran to my sister to ask why it looked weird, and she freaked out. That is so funny. Just really not understanding what's happening. That is classic. Absolutely amazing. I love to hear that. Um, but uh, let's see if Flamethrower should finish this off. All right, we're starting to get a little more consistent here, which I love to see. Um, let's see. Are there any other games besides Pokemon that you're a huge fan of? Arrow, uh, not Arrow. Uh, Zesty. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes when I'm doing a lot of speed up, it's just easier to have that music off. Nice crit. Love to see it. Um, just a bunch, really. Pokemon has always been a staple throughout my life, though. Pretty much the same, dude. I have, uh, I've always loved Pokemon. Anytime they release a new game, I always pick it up. I love to play them. Um, yeah, they're, that's pretty much been, like, my consistent one, but I have tended to be fans of other kind of, like, like, RPG-like type games, um... I really love Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite series as well. And by extension, I got into some Final Fantasies. I loved Final Fantasy VII Remake, um, which I have proclaimed here on this channel. Um, what are some other ones? I've, I've not really gotten into Zelda in my life, but I am halfway through Breath of the Wild now, and I really like Breath of the Wild. Um, let's see. Oh, you haven't really been pa uh, into it past Sun and Moon. Um, I really enjoy Scarlet and Violet. Um, Sword and Shield I'm not as into, but... If I could recommend any modern Pokemon game, it would be Legends Arceus. Especially if you love Generation 4. If you haven't picked up Legends Arceus, I highly, highly recommend that one. That one is great. There we go, baby. Oh, you beat Legends Arceus. Awesome. Oh, yeah, you did a midnight release for it. Love to hear that. Um, that is awesome. Um, yeah, I was beyond stoked for Legends Arceus. That was so, so cool. Um, and, like, you know, if you're really, like, in... Oh, my gosh, two fly misses in a row. What are we doing here? Um... If you are, like, really into Pokemon lore and stuff like that, it is an absolute delight in every possible way. Um, let's see. So we are approaching 150 speed EVs for our friend Arrow here, which excites me greatly. Um, oh, come on, man. There we go. Gets us to 144. And then one more level and we'll evolve. I'm thinking once we evolve Bagon, um, I'll go ahead and swap into Starmie. And things should go a little more smoothly for us there, because Starmie's probably going to one-shot everything, I think. Or at least get close to it. Um, do, do, do. I haven't really attended many midnight, uh, midnight releases. Um, I remember I did one when X and Y came out when I was in college. A couple buddies of mine, we went to a midnight release, and that was delightful. Um, I did a midnight release for Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, that was when I lived in California. That was just... That was, like, surreal. Um, because if anyone watching this is a Kingdom Hearts fan, you know that it took many, many years for Kingdom Hearts 3 to be released. Um, because Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 20, 2006. And there were a lot of side games and stuff. I went right past my full heels. There are a lot of side games and stuff, but the next full, you know, numbered title didn't come out until 2019. Um, so it was 13 years. They also announced it in 2013. So from when Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced to when it was released, it was six years, which was a long wait. For fans of the game. 
Let's see. Let's see. What are some other games I'm into? Honestly, um, I I love a lot of video games. Um, a lot of the ones I grew up on were kind of like my cousins and I would play GameCube all the time and like specifically Pokemon games. Those were kind of like the main ones. Um, but as I've gotten older, I've kind of wanted to um, get into more of like like classic games um, or ones that have been deemed classics. Um, like once I finish Breath of the Wild, I want to get into Ghost of Tsushima. And I want to play more games like that. Um, games that are kind of like considered modern classics. Um, because at the beginning of this year, I played um, Ori in the Blind Forest and its sequel, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and that was freaking great. I really, really loved those two games. Um, they're both pretty quick. The first one especially. The first one is maybe not even a 10-hour game. Um, the second one's definitely longer, maybe, maybe double that. Um, still not, like, crazy long, not like a 30-hour RPG, like a Final Fantasy or something. Um, but I recommend those. I recommend those a lot. Especially if you kind of like... It's kind of like a Metroidvania-ish, like, platformer. And just gorgeous. Gorgeous story, gorgeous visuals. Um, love Ori. not get paralyzed. That would be delightful to not get paralyzed. And we're actually... There we go. We're up to 162 speed EVs on our friend Bagon here. Yeah, Bagon's going to get to his speed quota for sure today. Pretty much right when he evolves. That's going to be great. Um, let's see if a flamethrower can finish the job. Not quite. Don't do it. Okay, good. It was a crit, but at least it didn't paralyze me. Alrighty then. I feel like there's a lot of newer games I'm pretty excited for um, as well. Um, I haven't gotten a chance. I was talking about how much I love Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I have not gotten a chance to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So no spoilers, please. Um, I would love to get a chance to play that as soon as possible. We good. We good. Okay, this is annoying. Give me one more super potion. All right. This is probably when we'll get paralyzed, of course. Oh, not yet. Great. it off. All right. So we should hit level 30 here. Perfect. 
What? Arrow is evolving. Ugh. Finally. Yeah, Bagon is not a particularly strong Pokemon. That's the thing with a lot of these pseudo-legendaries. It takes just a lot of investment and grinding to get the little weaklings into the big, powerful beasts that they eventually become. But it's worth it. Usually. Anyway. Uh, trying to learn Protect. We don't care about Protect. That is not going to be on our set. Um, but that is awesome. We are going to take that Macho Brace off of Arrow, and we are going to put it onto Harry. Um, we're going to let Starmie have some glory. Yeah, at this point in time, Starmie is definitely going to be our strongest Pokemon. Um, oh my gosh, yes! Grinding to level 64 for High Dragon. I, um... I famously am not a huge fan of Gen 5. It's just a weird time when they came out, because it was like end of high school. I was like pretending that I was too cool for Pokemon at the time. <laughs> um, so I'm not as into Gen 5. I do still like them. Um, I, I do still like them. I've, I've grown to like them. It's just, it's just a weird thing of when they came out for me. Um, it is certainly a me problem. Um, I don't love a lot of the designs. Some of the designs are great. Um, there's just It's just a vibe thing. Um, that is not good that we are slower than the Electrike. I hate that. Um, but, oh, there we go. I should still take it out, though. But, yes, one of my big problems with those uh, Generation 5 games is that they... A lot of the Pokemon evolve at, like, freaking level 100. Um, we'll use a, excuse me, we'll use a cherry berry. Lovely. Do, do. Yeah, like, I know Hydreigon evolves, like, really, really high. I think there's some other ones, like Braviary, I think, is in, like, the 50s. Um, just stuff like that is bonkers. I knew he was going to use Mudsport when I'm trying to use Thunderbolt. That is almost never useful, but it caught me when it was finally useful. <laughs> Uh, there it is. Oh, it had an Orenberry! Wow! This is just a... goaded little Zigzagoon here, isn't it? Um... Oh, wow. Braviary, Mandibuzz, Mianxiao, and Golurk evolve at level 50. That is insane. Absolute insanity. Do, 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 do. I just won't mess around. I'll just use Surf. Joke's on you now, homie. I was smart this time. Alright. So, Starmie might be able to get up close near level 30 here. Um, but yeah, that's my main issue with black and white. I know a lot of people don't like that you can only use... Um, whatchamacallit... Generation 5 Pokemon to be uh, in black and white, but I actually really like that. It kind of makes you use um, the new generation's characters, um, which is great. Anytime I am replaying anything, I always like to use ones that were introduced in that generation. That just feels more fun to me. Um, let's just go heal really quick. We're right across the pond there. That way I'm not wasting all my supers. We will pick up a little bit more money eventually. Because, like I said, once we kind of get these main stats to where we want, we will start doing more just regular training with some trainers. I do, I want to rematch some of the gym leaders. I think that'll be fun. Oh, that's another one that I didn't do. Thunderbolt. Give him the Thunderbolt, says Lieutenant Surge in the classic anime. Where are you from, Zesty? I know a lot of people that 
watch here are from across the ocean relative to me. I'm in uh, the United States. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to be brave and try to fight this main Etric. Hopefully it doesn't uh, spark me to death. Um, okay, great. I was brave and it paid off. Perfection. All right, Starmie's up to 64 on that speed. Oh, you're in the States. Very cool. East Coast. Very nice. Um, yeah, I'm in Ohio, so we're not too far off. Um, I was actually just in um, New York City a couple weeks ago. Do, do, do. It was awesome. We have a lot of friends that live there. Because I went to I went to school for theater. Oopsie. So a lot of our friends are pursuing that in New York City or Chicago. Uh, bar barf New York City or barf for theater or barf for both. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Um, I never lived in New York City myself. I lived in L.A. for several years. Oh, there we go. We're outspeeding the Zigzagoon, baby. Come on now. That's good. Okay, we still have the Macho Brace on. Da, 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 da. Oh, Barf, Ohio. I like Ohio. So many people crap on Ohio. I mean, it is where I'm from, but I like Ohio. I feel like it is underrated. I feel like I'm constantly defending Ohio's honor. And I mean, obviously, there are more exciting places like, you know, like Italy <laughs> or what or wherever or like big cities. But I like Ohio. Do 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 do. do. And I don't really need like a uh, kind of like my everyday life to be super exciting or like crowded or whatever. I like having a little more space, having a little more time to do things just in the day to day. Because living in LA versus living in the Columbus area, which is where I do now. Um, just every single thing is easier. Like, every single thing. Um, there we go. Which I appreciate greatly. I appreciate it greatly. Bop, 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 bop. I'm gonna be brave again and fight this Manetric, and hopefully I don't die. I will take quick attack all day long. Oh, one shot! That's crazy. That is not what I expected. Must have a pretty weak special attack. One thing Ohio does have, and I feel like I've talked about this before, is Cedar Point. Which I don't know if you've ever been there. But uh, right on the shores of Lake Erie in Sandusky, Ohio. Um, out on like a little peninsula. Very nice. Um, you have Cedar Point. And it is so cool because it's like on its it's this huge roller coaster park that is just like on its own island it's like its own little world um and it is like literally the best roller coaster park in the world i grew up very close to it wow okay so starmie is starmie's getting getting jacked over here it's going to be a 
Perry's going to be a contender. We're starting to look good. Because I will maintain as far as roller coasters go, the Millennium Force at Cedar Point is the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Um, ah, you're a Six Flags goer in New England's kind of goaded. Well, hey, if you are super into roller coasters, genuinely, Cedar Point's worth the trip. It really is. Um, it is a legendary place. All right, don't you spark. There we go. It's up to 102 now. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there was a Six Flags near where I was in LA, Magic Mountain. Um, we never went, though. We always really enjoyed Disneyland. Disneyland was so much freaking fun, dude. Um, it is not Ohio propaganda. Like... I'm being honest with you right now. I, I'm a little bit biased because I am from Ohio, but Cedar Point is like objectively revered by many in the in the roller coaster community. I feel like there's there's data to back me up there. <laughs> um, yeah, Cedar Point's awesome. If you love roller coasters, you will love Cedar Point. I promise that. Dude. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, I was about out of surfs anyway. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and use arrow. I'll let arrow pick this, pick this up. Um, all right, I'm still outsped. And this will only be two speed EVs for arrows. So hopefully this kills. Great. Perfection. I'd love to pick up a nugget or something from Ziggy. I feel like I said that last time, but I really mean it. I would really love to pick up a nugget. Need a little more of this music in our lives. Man, these first couple episodes were really just me biking back and forth on this little path right here. It was crazy. Because I, I think this is funny. I think this will be my seventh episode of the Battle Frontier series. And um, <laughs> there has been essentially no Battle Frontiering so far. It's just been preparing. Preparing the perfect squad. Ah, oh, yes. Hatching eggs, dude. That is indeed the classic route. Um, because I'll show you, we hatched many, many star yous trying to get a modest natured natural cure star you. Um, that took a long time. That took longer than I feel like it should have. Um, but it's okay. And we, we hatched a lot of bagons as well. Ba -da -da -da. But for the Beldum, we just had to reset in Steven's house until we got one that we thought was Dece. Um, but yeah, this week... I start back at school, which will be fine and fun, um, and I'll hopefully be staying on my normal schedule. I try to do Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, but you know, things things can always change a little bit here and there. Um, and Monday, a little sneak preview, could very well be our last Yu-Gi-Oh! episode. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try um, because there's kind of like some RNG stuff that you have to deal with um, 
because basically there are five specific enemies that you need to spawn at some point in the city. Um, and there's ways that you can kind of, you know, uh, further that process along. Um, but sometimes it will be one of the enemies that you've already fought. Um, but to kind of unlock the end of that game, you have to... Um, uh, to unlock the end of that game, you have to fight those five different enemies. And last time we played, we were not able to. If I can consistently outspeed these zigzagoons now, I feel like there have still been some that have outsped me. I can maybe use Thunderbolt and preserve some of my surfs. Alright, still outspeed. Lovely. Starmie's cooking now. We cooking now. Oh wow. That kind of like froze on me for a second. You're back, Brody. Welcome. We're on to Harry. I don't know if you saw... I don't know if you saw the Bagon evolve or not, but our Bagon evolved into Shellgon. As you can see here, our arrow is uh, a growing boy. A growing boy. Um, what Ziggy got? Super Potion, lovely. Doo -doo. Thunderbolt is crazy helpful for these windows. <laughs> Zesty, are you in college? Or are you working? Should knock out this main trick, I think. There we go. So we're pretty consistently one-shotting them now. Which is just excellent, eh? Oh, very nice! Very, very nice. Um Well con congrats, finish up strong. That'll be good, dude. I am a paraprofessional at a middle school. And I'm also still an actor sometimes, you know, when it can happen. So yeah, Starmie, I don't know if we're going to get Starmie all the way up to 150 by the end of this episode. We'll see what we can do. We're 138. And by 150, I meant 200. Because we got, we got him to 200 special attack. I think we can get there, actually, if I really hustle. Um... But yeah, that's good for you, Zesty. Alright, paralyzed. I'll run over and heal. This is probably going to end up being one of the like longest running save files I've ever had in this game. Because, let's see, 64 hours. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of that's with speed up, but uh, still. 
we still have all those Battle Frontier symbols to get. So I feel like we're going to... Because I feel I think the highest that little thing will go is 99 hours and 99 minutes. And then after that, it just says that. Um, I feel like we're going to get that message. I'll see if a water gun... Yeah, that's cool. I can really preserve some PowerPoints, baby. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that'll do a zigzag. You will have to test it on the next one. Oh, we got to get all these folks to level fifty. So we got about twenty more levels on all three of them. Uh, having the main actrix and Linoons give four with the macho brace on is just a godsend, baby. I really love that. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to 200 speed on Starmie today. We gonna get there. It's gonna be great. I'm still kind of working out what the plan is gonna be for our secondary game once we finish up, once we finish up Yu-Gi-Oh. Because we'll still be battle frontiering for the foreseeable future. Oh, didn't quite do it. Didn't quite do it, okay. Um, but I, I think, I definitely know what the game's gonna be at this point. I just don't know when I'm gonna start it. All right, so here we'll stick with the Thunderbolts. Perfection. 162, let's keep going. I do really love when you can get in a spot like this where all of the Pokemon are giving the same EVs out. Um, because keeping track on my little thing over here, it's annoying going to different, to different stats. Let's see, that'll be 68. And I guess one thing I didn't mention is Silver Cave Band. That's my metal project. I always rep it up here. And that's kind of one of the reasons that I called this this channel Silver Cave Gaming is that it's just kind of, it's kind of all connected. That sucks. Um, there we go. 72. Let's feed you a full heal. Eat up, baby. <laughs> Make a silly face? Um, sure. Um, is that adequately silly for you? Are you taking a screenshot? I bet you are. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Are we going to be treated to another one of your patented uh, Google Slides? Do 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 ba -da. All right. Now we are absolutely cooking. All right, this zigzagoon will take us to one eighty. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Let's see. What do you got for us now? <laughs> One slide. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. Save that forever. Save that forever. Um. Alright, that'll get us to 184. Once I get Starmie up to 200, we'll probably call it a day. Um, there we go. This should kill here. Yes, it will. <laughs> I 
I think Starmie has... Yeah, Starmie's gained a level. This should kill the Zizagoon now, and it does. Perfect. PowerPoint preservation is key. Key to any Pokemon journey. Oh, that didn't quite do it. Don't paralyze. Good. Okay, great. Lovely. All right, I'm at 192. I'm not going to the Pokemon Center. I am just using Full Restore. There we go. Two more Linoons will do the trick. Lovely. 196. Let's see. Electrike. One ninety-eight. All right, this is our final Pokemon. It's going to be Latios. No, it's not actually. All right, little buddy Zigzagoon. Catch this Thunderbolt. Our friend Starmie has 200 on speed now. Um, well, folks, I am very happy that we were able to pick up some great speed EVs today. Um, I will do just a little tiny bit more EV grinding off screen, but other than that, um, we are pretty much ready to start just leveling up the squad in a regular manner. And we can get ready generally quickly to start uh, challenging some uh, frontier facilities, which excites me greatly. Um, like I said, Monday we should be back with some Yu-Gi-Oh, but I should be back with Emerald on Wednesday. Um, that's my plan anyway. And folks, thank you for being here with me today. Zesty, thank you for stopping in. I really appreciate you watching today. It's been nice talking to you. Brody, thank you as always. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. You can uh, like, you can comment, you can subscribe. That'd be sick. Um, and with that, I will bid you adieu. Peace out, kiddos.